Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Jerry Kanga. And I'm Alaka Mugai. Today is February 1st, and we're here with the video. The only day today is a minimum day. So you stay sure this morning for today's schedule. If you want to make up any credit, then you are able to sign up for Edgerty online classes starting on September 19th through December 1st. Now let's pass it on to Jonah and Ethan for entertainment. And I'm Jonah Mercado, and this is Media Review. Today we'll be covering the story of Cuphead, which has gotten a lot of attention uh, as of late due to it, the new additions to the franchise, such as the new DLC, Cuphead, The Delicious Last Course, and The Cuphead Show on Netflix. The Cuphead games are both indie platformers, with graphics that center around 1930s art styles. The theme of the game gives it a unique look compared to others. The story starts off with Cuphead losing a bet and gambling his soul away to the devil. To save his soul, him and his brother Mugman must collect the souls of runaway debtors. The game has such a fun and fun and gun levels and boss fights which can help you learn uh, earn weapons and charms. Many people have stated that the game is challenging and I could definitely agree. Yeah, the new DLC has been shown to have more dynamic boss fights along with multiple new weapons and charms followed by the new playable character, Miss Chalice. One very exciting ex aspect about Chalice is that she has unique abilities that Cuphead and Mugman are unable to use. These new additions can ultimately change how you play the game and open up new possibilities. The Cuphead show, however, has gained many mixed reviews by the fans, however. The show has been targeted for younger kids and has been censored, censored as such. The show displays many interactions and, and fun and that we ha wouldn't have seen in the game, some of which can be seen as enjoyable. The interactions between Mugman and Cuphead are really funny and can make you laugh, although the noticeable ick between the and the humor is that it can be rushed along and not giving us enough time to enjoy the joke. Despite its minor flaws, the games and show can be seen as enjoyable. The game's challenges are a part of its beauty and charm. Overall, we could rate the game as a good 8 out of 10 and the show a 6 out of 10. See, See you, you next week. week. Thank you, Jonah and Ethan. You're on the no activity list because of overdue books. Today is the last day to turn them in. We were able to turn them in during his lunch and after school. On September 17th, we have our very first dance of the year. The city's under lights come from the dance from 7 to 10 p.m. Make sure you get up for a semi, four mile tire, and the tickets are $20 without ASB and 15 with ASB. The guest passes are 30 bucks and they are held in the student office and the front office. The Powder Puff game will be held on September 27th from 5 to 8. The freshmen will play sophomores and the juniors will play seniors. I'm Elijah McGuire. And I'm Jerry King. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy National, National World Letter Writing Day, Day. 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 Day.